Tonight, people living in one Wake Forest neighborhood asking the town for help. The owner of Wellington Park wants the property rezoned to sell to developers. And the people that live there say they need financial help to relocate. New at 11, CBS 17's Galat Malamed is digging deeper into how much that will cost. Galat. People living in Wellington Park are also asking the board here to approve that rezoning. They say if their property is going to be sold, they at least want it to be to this developer who will give them some relocation costs, but they say that still won't cover everything. Harold Burnett's future is uncertain. Well, I'm sitting here facing homelessness if I don't get enough money to be able to move my trailer somewhere. I, I live on a very small amount of money, Social Security. That's why he and other Wellington Mobile Home Park residents are asking Wake Forest for help. They're hoping the town can provide some relocation money. Some sense of security to know where we're going next, because obviously what's happening to us is not any of our fault or any of our control. So it's just like, you know, why? If the rezoning is approved for these homes, the developer says it will give $250,000 to Triangle Family Services to help with residents' relocation costs. Organizer Ronnie Jackson says that would average out to about $5,000 a home, but says quotes to move a trailer start at about $17,000. The money that the developer's putting up is really not even close. So we're going to need additional funding from somewhere. With real estate prices in the triangle booming, Dill Moran says he won't be able to stay in Wake Forest once Wellington Park is gone. Nothing here in Wake Forest that anybody here can afford. There are no mobile home parks to move the trailers to. So what we have to do is find another place to go, but we need the help. People here have until mid-January to find a new home or face eviction. 10 to 12 of the units out there cannot even be moved. And of course, if, if people are living in a unit that can't be moved, how difficult do you think it's going to be for them to purchase new property? The developer is asking the town to credit him $125,000 of the $250,000 they'll be giving for relocation, he says this won't be a new burden to taxpayers, but will come from fees from the new homes. The board is scheduled to vote on the rezoning in three weeks. Live in Wake Forest, Gilat Malamud, CBS 17 News.